As the annual cost of global cybercrime rises by the billions, Steve Weissman and Identity Theft Alert delve into the mind of the identity thieves and provide the 200 million people at risk with the knowledge they need to protect themselves. Steve Weissman, BA and JD, is one of the country's leading experts on scams and identity theft. He's been featured on CBS, ABC, Fox, NPR, PBS, CNN, CNBC, and The Dr. Phil Show. And he's been quoted in numerous publications, including The Boston Globe, Barron's, The New York Times, Money Magazine, The Washington Post, and The Wall Street Journal. He founded the blog www.scamicide.com, where he provides the latest information about scams and identity theft. Mr. Wiseman's a weekly commentator on scams and identity theft on WGGB TV in Springfield, Massachusetts, and the nationally syndicated radio and television show Big Biz Show. He's a frequent contributor to the New England Cable News, and he hosts the Boston area radio show A Touch of Grey, syndicated to more than 50 stations nationwide. Aside from his scam and identity theft work, Weissman is a lawyer and a member of the Massachusetts Bar and the Federal Bar. He's been a faculty member at Bentley University since 1998, and he currently serves as a senior lecturer of law, taxation, and financial planning. Weissman's authored eight books, including The Truth About Avoiding Scams and 50 Ways to Protect Your Identity and Your Credit. Today, we're here to talk about Steve's new book, Identity Theft Alert. Steve, thank you so much for coming to Millionaire Corner. We're Excited to have you here. Um, so, what is a botnet? Botnets, it's uh, sometimes called zombie computers. I mean, it, zombies are big. But what this is, when someone like the, the Eastern European uh, hackers that uh, are responsible for a lot of the major ones we're looking at Target, uh, Home Depot, Neiman Marcus, same people, they need to use thousands of computers to do this because they want to bombard these sites and get this information but they don't want to leave a trail so they hack into individuals computers by using that phishing that we talked about so I have uh, clicked on a link that I shouldn't have and boom they've taken control over my computer I may not know it suddenly my computer may be seeming a little bit slow or sometimes with botnets they're sending out spam and people are getting emails that appear to be coming from your computer because they are so this is the manner that they kind of hide their tracks and also get the computer power to be able to make major hackings of millions of cards so when my friends get weird emails from me that means a botnet is taking over my computer basically right yes and uh, I got actually I was on my on my smartphone uh, today uh, sending first a message to a friend of mine I'm pretty sure you didn't send me this with the and with a link in there and it was a list and you can see it was the alphabetical list of a large number of uh, this person's uh, email list and contact mm -hmm. list and sure enough they hadn't so it was I get a, an urgent email from the real person what do I do and what you do is you go back, you uh, check your email uh, security settings, uh, and you may want to see if these people who have taken over, they may have changed your security settings. So you want to do that, you want to change your password, and you really want to change your security question. One of the biggest hackings, it was an incredible list of people who were hacked by a single hacker a year or so ago, and it included a disparate group like Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, Beyonce, Hillary Clinton, uh, the former head of the FBI, a lot of uh, high-profile uh, people, and their high-profile status came back to hurt them because what happened is getting the email address easy, and sometimes you hack into one person's computer with your, your botnet and you grab their, their contact list. But then I need to get their password. I need to take mm -hmm. over to be able to get in the next steps of identity theft. And that's by answering the security question. Sarah Palin, when she got hacked, her security question was, where did I meet my husband? And it took the uh, hacker just a few minutes to go to Wikipedia and find out she met him at Wasilla High School. So you may think, OK, I'm not going to be as famous as Sarah Palin. But there was an old cartoon out years ago called Pogo. And Pogo had a play on the old, we have met the enemy and he is ours from Oliver Hazard Perry. His was, we have met the enemy and he is us. Often we're our own worst enemy. What's the name of my pet? Where could I find that out? Oh, on my Facebook page. Your mother's maiden name. And where was I born? Where was I born? And that's another thing. 
don't put your real birth date uh, on, on a Facebook page because this is the kind of information that can be piggybacked to make you a victim. So what you want to do is have a security question that cannot be found in the myriads of data banks. So where did you go to high school? Grapefruit. Now, it is <laughs> stupid enough that you will remember it. On the other hand, no hacker is ever going to put that into effect unless you lose, use actually use grapefruit and people are trying that out because I tell people to do that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Apple, all heard our Apple might work. Great. There you go. Steve, thank you so much for coming today. It was delightful to talk to you. I encourage you all to read Identity Theft Alert. It's a great book and go to scamicide.com. Thanks for watching.